start off with this time. Finn again! Finn again! Finn! He's gone. He's back in bed. Doesn't he want to be on episode two? Nope. Finn, come! Can't handle the spotlight. He gets nervous. He's too nervous. Hey, I'm Emily. And I'm Justin. And welcome to Emoji Adventure number two. <laughs> For our second Emoji Adventure, we got to meet Chris Nibby of Sweet Corn Brooms. And we first learned about Chris's brooms through my mom because Chris and my mom ride the same bus route to Mayo. So we actually got a chance to go over to Chris's shop uh, he lives pretty close by and he invited us over so we checked out his shop. We'll show you a little bit of that uh, It was really exciting to see the tools that he uses. Some of them are really old uh, classic broom making equipment and tools and then some of them are just things he's made himself to fit uh, His needs and the kind of brooms he wants to create uh, I really appreciate that he upcycles things. He'll find all kinds of handles and turn them into brooms um, some are really traditional techniques and then some are um, old pool cues and random things he's given by other people. So uh, it's a really fun shop and he's making some cool things in it. And then today Chris had a show at Gallery 24 which is a collaborative art studio space in Rochester and it was from 2 to 5 today and so we got to go check out all kinds of brooms that Chris has created. And they had a display, the history of broom making, um, and he did a demonstration. And we actually have two of Chris's sweet corn brooms, but I'm not sure how well these will, but we have a little, little guy. What's, What's that one called? I think this is the pot scrubber, right? Yeah, I think so. And Chris's brooms are made, the broom part is made out of sorghum. Mm -hmm. Primarily. Yeah. Broom corn is what they call this product. So this is a really long one. This one is supposed to be for cobwebs, but his brooms are really works of art. But he has some that are more practical and then some are, that are more artistic. But this whole experience has taught me a lot about brooms. Mm -hmm. Has anything surprised you? He, Chris showed us in his shop a broom that um, he wanted to strength test. He'd hand stitched it himself and attached it to a handle. And they took it and um, just used it as a beater on wood and a table outside. And you can't even tell that, you know, he abused it. It's still in great shape. It still works. He uses it to sweep up his shop. I think how strong they are was really impressive. Uh, and then he really creates different kinds of brooms that function differently. Um, so I'm surprised by the wide range of kind of uses of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been a really fun emoji adventure and we're getting more ideas for more emoji adventures every day. <laughs> so if you're watching this and you have a fun idea of an emoji you love that you think we should base uh, an adventure on, please let us know. We'd love that. So here are some highlights of the last couple of days with Chris Nibby of Sweet Corn Brooms. So, the shaving horse. Yep, so this is how. It doesn't normally have a wheel, always. And that is the finished product. And then I'll take a sander and uh, knock down some of the rough spots, but this faceted feel will still be there. Mm -hmm. I've called it the unusual sweeping habits of Chris Nibby <laughs> because I don't make normal brooms. Or the brooms that I do make that are normal are, they have a slightly different twist to them. How'd you get into it? My family 
did a lot of the woodworking and broom making demonstrations. A uh, great grandfather and an uncle started the broom shop back at the Butterfield Threshing Bee. I do vaguely remember trying to make a broom while I was still in high school but did not have the aptitude. I think I was drug into it at the time for some reason. Mm -hmm. And in 2014 was my first year demonstrating at the days of yesteryear mm -hmm. using the old equipment that the History Center owns. So what do you love about making them? Part of it is that I'm surprised at how, to me, it's a lot of fun. I have a need for making it as useful as possible, yeah. as well as aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And um, this kind of fulfills that need. Plus, it's also kind of fun that not too many people do this. Mm -hmm.